John, welcome to the sofa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be Ellen. Okay. And I've got some purple bits on. All right. Well, let me adopt my best sort of interviewing thing. Because, John, I want to talk to you about something rather special. Yeah. Uh, do you remember in the, in the summer of 2020, yep. you you, we did a surprise present for Ellen. Or rather, you did a surprise present for Ellen. And without her knowing, you refurbished her Game Boy. You made a little video mm -hmm. about the refurbing process, yeah. which, was, which was shown as part of that live stream. But I think me and Ellen always thought that that video didn't get the sort of focus and limelight that it deserved. So what this is, we're, we're giving it its, its space to breathe. But also, that live stream was strewn with technical. Oh issues. god, it was fraught with technical issues. Yeah, it was everything. Our windows went wrong. got moved. Our windows got moved. Folks. I think my face was all big in the wrong, the wrong <laughs> aperture. <laughs> Yeah, it went it, it went terribly wrong. Ellen's internet died entirely, so her aperture went blank. I want another chance to watch the video that you made of refurbing Ellen's okay. Game Boy because it was a delight. It was a wonderful project, a very very kind and generous and uh, thing to do. And over to you, John, in the past with the refurb. Okay, hit play. Me in the past. Hit record on the camera. Okay, John. Future John. There we go. Hello everybody, Jonathan Garnham here. People on the channel also call me Producer John. I have brought you here to my home desk editing area and we are here to do a nice little video for our friend Ellen. What you can see here is something pretty special. This is Ellen's Game Boy bag that she had when she was a really ickle Nelly Rose. She put this in my trust December time last year because I'd recently modded this Game Boy here to have a backlight and what game is in here of course it's Link's Awakening and she gave this to me she thought it would be cool if I could sort it out for her so this is her cool bag official Nintendo bag and we're gonna open it up this is the main zip lo and behold inside is Ellen's Game Boy now this is broken this should be stitched to there so that is a non-technical piece of repair work that we can do just some sewing it's a play it loud version these were the ones that had all the buttons were all the same color whereas on the original DMG you had pink buttons and a black d-pad and grey uh, select and stuff but on this one the play it loud versions they're all the same color but you could get funky color cases as opposed to just the the, uh, the grey version and um, it does work I'm gonna turn it on it does work when she gave it to me it didn't so that works that's the best sound in the world at the moment she's got her favorite game dr mario in here which also works it works everything works all the buttons work it's all fine and as it turned out there was a lot of corrosion in the battery contacts in here so i scraped all that out i didn't even use any alcohol i just did a little bit of scraping on the battery contacts put some batteries in these are rechargeables of course because you know i love the planet and it worked so that was fine but the screen lens is missing. This is what one looks like when it's got a screen lens. But on the Play It Loud versions, they didn't have this type of grey, they had a darker grey. So we need to replace that. The, the other main thing, as you can probably see, is that it's quite grubby. So the main thing we need to do is open this up and give it a clean. You can't clean it unless you open it up, take everything apart, take the casing into a sink and give it a scrub so we're going to do that before I show you some cool parts that I've ordered let's just have a look in the rest of the bag you can see Ellen's little collection here she's got Super Mario Land 2 excellent Super Mario Land brilliant Mega Man yes Adventure Island fantastic Chase HO Secret Police hmm and then in here, of course, because she was a big fan of Rugrats, she's got a Rugrats game. I'll tell you something for free. The Dr. Mario cartridge really needs a clean. She obviously played this the most. Before we crack on, I'm going to show you some cool parts that I've ordered. Now this is the replacement screen lens. As you can see, it's darker 
than the grey of the original DMG. Uh, all these Play It Loud ones had a darker screen lens here to match the, the dark colours of these buttons and stuff. So I've managed to get hold of a glass replacement screen lens, not plastic, because as you can see with the original plastic ones they get scratched. But one of the things that also disappointed me is that her, and this always bugs me about Game Boys, the um, connector port cover was missing. She should have a yellow one, but she doesn't. But you can see here this, um, this one's got a grey one, that's the original one, that's all fine. So I have ordered from a really good website called Deadpan Robot, look they sent me their card. And this is a baggie of really cool plastic purple parts. And this is the piece that's missing. I'm gonna I'm, I'm put that in right now because I can't resist. Give you a sneak preview of how brilliant this yellow and purple uh, co color combination is gonna look. So I thought while we're doing that, we might as well replace the A and B buttons on here to purple. It's a nice homage to the fact that the original DMG had these pinky red A and B buttons to sort of offset it. So it would be very unique, it'd be very Ellen because she's obsessed with purple because, well, it's a brilliant colour. Hi, voiceover John here taking over. Now it's time to get ready for the big clean. So if you're interested in doing this yourself, you totally can, it's really simple. The main tool you'll need which you might not have is a Triwing screwdriver. But if you search on eBay for Triwing and Game Boy, you'll see that you can pick one up for a couple of quid. First you'll need to remove the six tiny Triwing screws on the back shell, which I'm doing here at incredible speed. After that you'll be able to separate the front and back shell to reveal the two circuit boards inside. To complete the separation though, you need to carefully pull out this ribbon cable from the back board. Then you can begin unscrewing the board from the front shell which is attached by 10 tiny but regularly headed Phillips screws. Ugh, look at the dust in there. This is why you need to clean it in the sink. Have we got it? Have we got it? Have we got it? Come on, yes! Back of the net. This is the whole screen assembly, and by Jove does it need some cleaning, but it's, it's absolutely fine. Next, simply use your fingers to remove all the buttons and rubber membranes ready for cleaning. To disassemble the back shell, you have four more Phillips screws to remove, two on the cartridge board and two by the headphone port. Yeah, look at that. Much easier than the screen. Let's put that, place that to one side. That will come out easily. That's just the power button. The last screws to remove are the four on the metal shield. Finally, remove the metal battery contacts by pressing down the tiny metal tabs with a small flat screwdriver. Then take all the plastic and rubber parts to the sink for a wash in soapy water. Just to warn you, this process can be extremely satisfying. I find using a fresh toothbrush is the best tool to get in all the nooks and crannies. However, careful how you go on the printed text on the front shell. I barely scrubbed over the start button hole and I'm ashamed to say managed to remove what little remained of the word start. Sorry, Ellen. When it's all clean and lovely, leave it for a day or two to dry before you carry on. Before we reassemble, there's a few more jobs to do. I tried to restore Ellen's cool bag and managed to stitch the broken Velcro strap back into place. Looks a bit crude, but that thing is on there. However, I later discovered that there was some more damage with some popped pocket stitches and some fraying around the top of the dividing area. Probably best that I leave that as it's clearly beyond my sewing skills. This didn't stop me giving it a clean though with some hot soapy water. Next, it's time to introduce ourselves to some good old isopropyl alcohol. Yes, it's 99.9% .9 strength, and yes, I'm pouring it into a shot glass, but that's only so I can dip my cotton buds in. 
The reason for this is yet more cleaning. The alcohol is strong enough to dissolve bits of dirt without damaging the electrical parts and it dries really quickly. First I'm cleaning the grubby bits on top of these cartridges to make them look like new. Then it's time to clean the battery contacts, the speaker, the button contacts on the boards to improve responsiveness, and dab some isopropyl into the dials and ports to dissolve any dirt. Another little trick you can do to restore the buttons is to rub the dark part of the membranes onto some paper, like a pencil, to level off the surface. Last but not least, some regular multi-surface polish and a microfiber cloth will bring up the screen and metal shield nicely. Okay folks, now for the fun part, the best bit. Can't wait to get these purple bits and the new screen lens in. Let's start putting it back together. Let's get the shield in. These are Philips ones going in first, don't forget. The uh, only time you need to use the dry wing ones is to seal the back shell onto the, the front shell. Everything else is Philips screws. Next I'm gonna put the battery contact back in. Okay, they're in, put that on there for now. We can now attach the cartridge board. I just need to make sure I put the power button, the new purple one, in at the same time. We're putting purple bits in. I'm more excited about this than when I backlit the Game Boy Color. Because this is just gonna look like a piece of art. Even if Ellen doesn't play this ever, she can have the coolest shelf ornament. That's in, that's in. I feel like I wanna put the ribbon cable back in first because this is tricky. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing, I think. Because sometimes they just don't like to go in. Don't like pushing it too hard because it's so delicate. Oh, there you go, yes, that is in. Whew! Okay, that is a relief. Right, let's put that to one side actually and put the dang buttons in. Let's get that in there. These can go in either. They're the same shape. <gasps> this is great, this is great. There's a little hole for that. We can put the membranes on now. There we go. They go, go on their little holes. That's good. All right, all right, all right. We're good, we're happy. And I'm gonna carefully do this maneuver. Okay, let's hold that carefully like that. Making sure that the speaker is in. And next, we're gonna put the 10 Phillips screws back in. Okay, getting nervous now. We're so close to finishing. Is it gonna turn on all okay and everything? I can't even see batteries. Okay, I've got the batteries ready over here. Oh, let's put the tri-wing screws here. Uh, here we go, here we go. Shaking. Is there a step I've missed? Have I broken Ellen's Game Boy? Who can say? I'm just petrified that something's gonna snap or crack while I'm tightening. I'm sweating so much under my cap. Why am I even wearing a cap? Let's put this one in over here. Caref being careful to cross tighten. I'm going as diagonally as possible with these screws. 
if it's broken, but you know, nothing, nothing no one's gonna care. Look, here we go. Doesn't look amazing? Before we put on the finishing piece, let's get some batteries in and just check I haven't broken Ellen's Game Boy. Yes, it's fine, I think. I'm gonna put uh, Dr. Mario back on inside. A clean Dr. Mario. The piece de resistance. I'm gonna remove the sticky backing from here and get the screen lens on and then it really is finished. Okay, sticky backing all off. What's going on? Oh my God, here we go. Should just stick into place nicely. There we are. Wow. I could leave Ellen the pleasure of uh, peeling off the plastic film like it's a brand new product, but I don't want to deny you watching and myself that treat because who's, you know, who's put all the effort in to, to do this? Me. So John gets to do it and you get to watch. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on. That is possibly one of the nicest looking things I've ever seen. Who's ready for the best sound in the world? One more time. Damn right. All that remains now, of course, is to get this in the post and surprise Ellen. Really hope you like it. You did such a beautiful job on that oh, Game Boy it John. It looks so good though. It does look so good. I had to give it back. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that the greatest pain of all? <laughs> you didn't have to. You had the chance. Yeah. Yeah. You could have just been like, actually, stop the camera. Luke, that project we talked about yeah. didn't, didn't yeah. pan out in the end, unfortunately. <laughs> but by the time I had had a significant amount of time passed between when she gave it to me yeah. and when oh, I started right. refurbing it, yeah. that maybe she'd forgotten. And you could and have. And I yeah. could have. Yeah. Hmm. What Game Boy? Yeah. I think you're imagining things, Wait. Ellen. Oh, did you bring it into the office? Yes, yes, I did, John. Oh. Maybe it's still there then. Must have got lost in oh, some boxes. Oh, no, I can't go to the office. No, we're, we're in a lockdown. We're in a, we're in a lockdown, Ellen. So. Some of us are trying to think about the public. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to find your Game Boy. No, and then, then And then months and months later, we get back and it's gone. And it's gone. The perfect. It could have been the perfect Thieves. crime. <laughs> Thieves have struck. <laughs> and they've stolen the most valuable thing of oh, all. A broken got away with Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any more refurb projects in mind? I really wanted to do uh, make one that looks like the Switch Pro Controller. Oh right, that kind of translucent. A translucent black. Black, yeah. But still a bit see-through because when Ooh. I was little, I always wanted one of the Game Boys that's see-through, and you can see the. The circuit boards inside. Yeah. The, so you see all the yeah. water being pumped yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. That would scratch that itch a bit because it's yeah. slightly see-through. Yeah. But then the Switch Pro Controller looks so nice as well. It does. Yeah. So, so to make one that looks like that, but with the new, is it? I think the right word is IPS screen. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not. It's not backlighting. It's just a new screen. It's like really sumptuous pixels. Lush. Yeah. Maybe you would um, like matte, matte, matte black buttons to mimic the, oh, way no, that yeah. the Pro uh, Controller yeah. has. All of it black. The, you know, the sort of handles on the Pro Controller, like they're not translucent, are they? I think they like on, on the sides of it kind of yeah. opaque. Yeah. That's so have great. I got around to it? No, but maybe I will. But maybe one day. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you got around at least to this refurb project, John, yeah. because it was lovely. Yeah. Let's uh, just briefly see how, um, how happy Ellen was. Oh, Ellen's Ellen reaction. To, Ellen's reaction, how happy she was to receive it. <laughs> Ellen? Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, <laughs> John, I think I think Ellen is just frozen. We, we've broken Ellen. Yes. Okay, we can see you. Hello. Yep. Hello. Hello. We can see we can see you, Ellen. You're currently John You're Garden, me. but it's okay. Hang on. Hang I on. don't want to be hang in on. the big box. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna. This is real sketchy stuff. The one this thing I don't want to be I doing. I love you, John. Midstream. This is the one thing I didn't want to happen. Yeah. Um, uh, it was lovely, John. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it looks like a, a packed lunch. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, look at it. Woo! Yay! Hey. Okay. Right.
That's lunch. I'm going. <laughs> Well done, John. Streaming. Why do you like refurbing? Because it looks very hard. Uh, <laughs> I like fixing things. Aww. Yeah. And I love Game Boys. In fact, I had a... This, this, is, this is good. Mike said something very similar. Yeah. About lockdown. How it was a nice... It, it was a good time to sort of go back to things that make you feel nice and safe. Like Aww. he got into... Like he got, he got some like... Some old arcade -y things. Yes, he did, yeah. And I... I fixed a couple of Game Boys and bought Transformers from the new Netflix series. <laughs> so, yeah. we both coped. <laughs> we, we let no one say that you didn't cope. Well done. And well done for a brilliant refurb. Yep. Hit that like Thanks. button if you agree that producer John is a great refurber. Um, yes, I'm sure they will. And if you enjoyed this, uh, then why not um, watch some other videos we've done? You can become a member of the OX Supporters Club on Patreon if you would like. There are links and such on the screen for that. But all that remains for me to say, John, is congratulations on a bloody good job. Thanks. That Game Boy looks real good. Thanks. Let's do a high five. There's not enough high fiving on this sofa. No, there isn't. I've always said it. Should we do another one and, fr and we can freeze frame? Yes, like at the end of an 80s film. <laughs> we didn't need to actually freeze. We probably could have got that in post. Yeah, I know, but I was <laughs> <laughs>